You've effectively pulled your audience into your speech with your high impact opening. How do you smoothly transition from that into your first supporting point? That's the subject of this video. What is the purpose of windows in your house? Obviously to see the outside world, right? Well, think of windows in your house the same as windows in your speech. The first floor, the opening, gives the audience an insight or a new vision of the world you're about to take them into. In the house, each floor that you go into, the higher you go, the further out the windows allow you to see. In your speech, each succeeding step or point that you present gives your audience a further or deeper view into your topic. We'll repeatedly use the window analogy as we sum up each floor in your speaking house. With that in mind, how do we transition from one point to the other or from your opening into your first point? Picture this, a set of rickety, worn out stairs. Each time you step on them, they creak rather loudly. How comfortable would you be stepping on those stairs to go to the next floor of a house? Your stairs in a speech are like your transition. You want to go from one floor to the next. You want to get from one point to another. And that's why we need smooth transitions. We want a sturdy staircase. And there are two kinds of transitions that we suggest. Number one is what we call the golden nugget. This is the benefits that people will get if they take action on the first point or the one you're about to present. On the other hand, the sterling silver knife is the loss they will experience if they don't take advantage of the point they're about to hear. Either one works and sometimes we can use them together. For instance, when I'm giving a presentation about speaking, my transition could be a golden nugget. If you use this next step, it will give you so much confidence every time you stand in front of a group or a camera. You will come across as charismatic, you'll have influence and impact with people, and your speeches will land every single time. That's benefit-based. On the other hand, I could use the sterling silver approach, which sounds like this. If you avoid this next step in the speaking process, you will have low energy, low confidence, and you will leave absolutely no impact on your audience, which means your speech will be quickly forgotten. Is one better than the other? It depends on the circumstances. Most of the time it helps to use both, use a combination. But it's important that we have that transition. Think of the transition as a solid set of stairs that leads from one floor in your house to the next. We want to smoothly transition our audience into our first point after we've had our high impact opening. And we'll revisit this between points. The golden nugget, or the sterling silver knife approach. Both are effective at grabbing people's interest and attention and keeping it as you move into your first point. In the next video, we'll talk about that first point. How do you set it up and how does it compare with our analogy of the speaking house?